Welcome back again to Arinka's Kitchen. I have another family favorite recipe. It's called Hungarian Meatloaf. And what I have here is a half a kilogram of ground lean beef and pork, a half a kilogram of lean ground pork. And um, I've combined the two together because my grandmother and mother would um, do this um, to make, mix the two meats together. Um, this was just a traditional family recipe that um, that um, they they had and I'd like to share that with you today so if I have six slices of bacon and I've already used up about half of them and I'll explain to you what I use them for and then um, I, ha I had one cup of breadcrumbs um, two, two buns and I soaked them in a quarter cup of milk so um, I've done that already and I have um, also some a cup of breadcrumbs and two, two slices of buns that I have soaked in into a quarter cup of milk so I've already got that ready for the meat mixture uh, three three whole eggs and I've got the eggs in the uh, refrigerator so I'm going to go get those and they are slightly slightly beaten with a slightly beaten with a fork so I've done that already so um, that's ready to be put into the meat mixture. And then I have a teaspoon of uh, Vegeta here. If you don't have Vegeta, then you can use a vegetable base, and it's optional. I put that in my recipe that it is optional. And one medium onion, and two cloves of garlic, one teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of vegetable shortening. So what I've done is I've fried down uh, bacon, uh, garlic and onions in some uh, shortening so I've already have that prepared ready to put, be put into the meat mixture so what you you begin by doing is you chop up onion garlic and three slices of, of bacon into quarter pieces and you fry all of those ingredients in shortening and then um, you mix together the breadcrumbs and the soaked buns so I've done that already and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the meat mixture and I'm going to add all of these ingredients so I'm going to add the eggs to the mixture and then I'm going to um, add the pepper and the salt so my pepper and the salt and my uh, vegeta so it could be a vegetable base and this is optional so a vegeta can be you can buy it usually at a, a delicatessen if you can't find that then vegetable base is fine too and then of course um, I'm going to add the fried bacon the garlic and the onions into the meat mixture so I'm going to add all of those to the meat mixture and then I'm going to, uh, of course, mix this up and then I'm going to add the breadcrumbs to it. Breadcrumbs and the, and the soaked buns. So I keep, keep stirring that around. And then, um, this was another family favorite recipe that my mother would make um, for dinner, for, for, for dinner midweek dinner and uh, my grandmother would also make this so it can be made with either or ground beef or pork uh, I've chosen to use lean ground beef and pork so I'm going then I'm going to add the breadcrumbs and the uh, soaked soaked uh, buns to the uh, meat mixture. So I'm just going to keep stirring that around until I've got this uh, mixed together well. And then I'm going to use a medium sized pan to put this in. So I'm just going to go get the uh, pan. It could be one of these. Um, you can divide this up into two if you want, but um, I've kind of pre-measured it and it should be should actually be uh, enough room for it. So it's a medium-sized 
pan. So I'm just going to continue adding, adding the uh, breadcrumbs into there. Now this is about uh, in my recipe. Um, it's about a cup of a, a cup of breadcrumbs to the uh, this amount of uh, ground meat. Now I have a tip at the at the end of my um, the recipe that that um, shows what the temperature should be, the um, even temperature of the meat. It's to know that when it's done. So it should be cooked quite well. So I've got about 71 degrees Celsius. This is about uh, 100. And I've converted that into Fahrenheit for you. So it's at the bottom of the uh, recipe on my on the website. And uh, I have a meat, meat thermometer that I use. So um, just before it's prior to it being done, um, I would kind of take it out of the oven and test it and see if it's at the right temperature. So I've gotten sort of approximate times for for uh, baking it in the oven. So um, test it, and if you find that the temperature is not um, just right, then uh, you want to put it back into the oven for an additional 10 or 15 minutes, whatever. So I'm just going to mix this up. And then I'm going to add it to um, to the uh, loaf pan. And I'm just going to use another spoon here. And I'm going to uh, spoon it into the loaf pan. And I'm going to evenly distribute the meat. Now this, this can be served with parsley potatoes. It can be served with rice. Um, I have a cucumber salad recipe that you could um, serve it with, or chalamati, which is the mixed pickle recipe. So all I'm going to continue doing this, evenly distributing this into the um, loaf pan, and I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you what this wonderful recipe looks like. Um, and I'm going to be serving this for dinner um, today. So, and I'm going to be serving it with parsley potatoes. Welcome back again to Arinka's Kitchen. I had in the oven uh, Hungarian meatloaf, and it's been in the oven for approximately 85 minutes. So, um, I tested it at about uh, 75 minutes. So, I took it out of the oven and I used a meat thermometer to um, test to see if the meat was well done. And for uh, ground meat or uh, ground beef or, or pork or any kind of ground meat, um, you need to make sure that the temperature is uniform in temperature and um, according to my meat thermometer it should be reading at about 71 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So it is ready and I have taken it out of the oven. It is just smelling just great. I can smell the bacon, the onions, the, the garlic and the hamburger and it is just it is just fantastic so I'm going to show you what it looks like in the loaf pan and what I've done is I've put some bacon strips on the top of it so remember I said that I used six slices of bacon uh, half of it was used to saute it in some onions and some uh, garlic and so what I did was I fried that down and then um, then I put the remaining bacon strips on top of the uh, the meat mixture. So I've uh, put it in the oven and it's been in the oven for approximately 85 minutes so uh, just remember to check it with a meat thermometer to make sure that it's at the right temperature. So that's what it looks in the loaf pan. So I'm going to show you what it looks like on a plate with uh, some parsley potatoes. So I've cooked up some potatoes and I sauteed some parsley and a little, little bit of margarine, maybe about a teaspoon of margarine, and um, I poured that over the uh, potatoes. So I cooked up some potatoes, red potatoes, and I just wanted to show you what this looks like with the parsley potatoes. Now this can be served with, uh, with uh, the cucumber salad that I have on my website. So um, if you need a recipe, it's on my website for cucumber salad or chalamadi, which is the mixed pickles. So um, I hope that you enjoy uh, 
cooking this for your family and friends. And if you have any questions or comments about the recipes that I've done on the website, please feel free to contact me at irene at irinkaskitchen.com or irinkaskitchen.com. Until next time, bon appetit, yo et vayat.